What up, though, YouTube? It's your boy Brillo. I'm back. Power is finally back. Episode nine. Finally back after two weeks. I'm here with the quick highlights. And this episode, even though I enjoyed it, I think it should be called Make It Make Sense. Let me hit you with some of the quick highlights, but the episode did not make sense to me, even though I did enjoy it. Um, of course, I just watched it, just got finished watching it about 20 minutes ago. So if I miss something, I'm going to double back on Monday at 8.30 with the DMC with Pretty Girl Love Trap and Moochie. You know, we're going to break the episode, episode down more on Monday. But the episode kicks off with the aftermath of, of course, the shooting and the death of Gloria. So Vic is in the hospital. And, of course, Vic is in shock. Uh, he's sitting there looking like a straight sucker. He's not ready to find out. He's just there looking like he's about to cry. Like he, He's just in, in shock, basically. He's in shock, not trying to make moves. He's just sitting there. And, of course, his dad comes in, and his dad's putting a bug in his ear that Tommy had something to do with this shooting. So, of course, at first, Vic is like, no, he tried to get me out, out the city, he tried to help me. But then, of course, uh, you no, know, Vic, me and Vic, he goes along with his dad or whatever, and now they're, of course, going to go to war with Tommy because they think Tommy has something to do with it. But Walter already knows Tommy didn't have nothing to do with it. He just wanted to galvanize the family, which was always his goal, and he basically did, did it. So uh, another highlight that we see, these young boys that came back together. Of course, Marshall, he already found out that Jannard and Blaston took a meeting with Gary without him, so they backdoored him. And at first, D Mac, like, no, nah, that's, that's what you get. It's the same stuff you did to me. But they locked right back in and they have a plan to backdoor the CBI and, and uh, get Dahlia off and Gary. So that was like one of my favorite scenes that happened. So they go to Gary and uh, Marshall's cousin is pressing. He pulled burners out on him and everything. He said, if y'all don't got no work, get up out of here. What y'all trying to jam me up? And of course, D Mac had the idea to bring the Dahlia to him. They actually dropped the brick of Dahlia off. D Mac is working in Tommy's uh, warehouse doing a count or whatever. And of course, he's doing a stand up job. So he dropped Dahlia off to them. So they back door. That was one of my favorite scenes of the, of the episode. But what didn't make sense to me was the fact that. Okay, last time we saw Merkovich, he was at war with Tommy. I mean, torturing Liliana. Tommy had just killed about 10, 11 Serbs. But all of a sudden now, Tommy is locked in with the Serbs, which makes no sense to me. I'm like, what? what is going on? Like, how, how, what, what did we miss? How did he get locked in with the Serbs? Because of, of, of course... Watch is bringing in the four horsemen. He's bringing in the four horsemen. And Liliana lets Tommy know Liliana, I mean, she got her ear to the streets. She is a true G. She told Tommy that Vic got hit and told him that the Serb four horsemen were coming in. So, of, of course, Tommy thinks that they're coming in to hit the Serbs. Uh, but, no, they're coming to hit young Thomas Egan. So, how he finds out they're coming to hit him, he goes to see Gloria. Now, Gloria haven't been returning his calls. Of course, her dad hit her with the same BS story about how Tommy is behind the shooting. And, of course, she knows it's not true. So, so she's basically, you know, poking holes in their theory or whatever. But um, Tommy goes to see her finally, and she kind of tells him, watches back as they're leaving kind of accuse him of, of doing whatever the Vic putting the head out. So when she said, watch her back, of course, Tommy knew like, damn, them hitters is here for me. So he goes to CBI, of course, first, but Diamond's not having it. Diamond won't help him. And Diamond's like, I'm not going to jail for anyone, not even you. 
And Tommy like, okay, well, whatever. It couldn't hurt to ask. So Tommy's last result is to go to the Serbs, and this is what doesn't make sense to me. He walks into Murkovich like they just homeboys. Like what? What happened? Why is Murkovich not trying to kill Tommy? Why are they locked in? Like, this is what I'm saying about make it make sense. The episode was exciting. I enjoyed it, but it did not make sense. You cannot leave that out. Like, I don't know why Murkovich is cool with this dude. He just walks in there. Okay, he like, I, I'll tell you who's coming after you. And, Mer okay, he, then he gives us 1.5. He say, but I'll give you an extra five if you tell me who hit Gloria. And then Tommy proceeds to... So Merck wanted to serve, come back, give him $2 million, which is not a problem because Dahlia is pumping. I mean, Tommy has so much money on hand. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, he's really getting it off. So the $2 million is not, the, not outlandish, but, I mean, so they're locked in right now. They're about to go to war with Vic Flynn and the Serbs, and we don't know how the hell did Tommy get locked in with the Serbs. It does not make sense to me. But a couple more scenes that happen highlights this guy right here. So Janaris gets overheard by Diamond. Um, and Janard is going in. He's like Diamond, he weak. Um, because Janard knows Tommy is behind the dahlia. Janard, like he weak when he gets to this white boy. I threw a fight, I'm about to take over. Meanwhile. Diamond is upstairs listening to the whole thing, and he hears the whole thing. So Diamond is conflicted. They, of course, Janara came back up, gave him a fake hug. So Diamond know, I mean, Diamond definitely knows that Janara is a snake. And it's hurting him to his heart that he a snake. Had a little conversation with his girl about it or whatever at the diner before Tommy came to see him. So they're, they're making their play. Uh, Blackson and Janara. So Jannar catches wind from cousin Buddy that the back door bros just went and dropped a brick of dahlia off. And they like, how do these little fools get a whole brick of dahlia? And he like, oh, I sent D-Mac to kill Tommy. And now they got dahlia. Tommy gots to go. But first, we got to murk these little, little homies. So that's their plan to set out to murk the little homies. So, of course... They go to do that, and Tommy just uh just told D Mac that he is his uncle. They had a nice scene. D Mac up the pistol on him. Tommy was mad about the whole Gary play, which was actually a good play. Uh, he kept Tommy insulated, never said his name, never said anything. It was a good play, but Tommy wants to protect D Mac because he D Mac reminds him of ghosts, a young ghost or a young uh, Tariq. How smart he is. He's like, show off your brain, man. D-Mac told him they was up 18%. He like, no, nah, that's not the number. Then D-Mac hit him with the 18.55, whatever, whatever. And Tommy like, show that off. So Tommy finds tell him. And D-Mac like, man, I'm not calling you Uncle Tommy. He like, I might call you Tom. He's like, so they, going, they was on their way to go tell JP what happened. And, of course, CBI pull up. Well, we didn't see that it was CBI, but we see black people busting, Tommy busting shots. He actually turned somebody water off through the window off the <clears throat> off the double tap. And my man, like, I never call you Uncle Tommy. And then you hear him say, Uncle Tommy. I'm, you know what I'm saying? And you look at him and he hit. And Tommy carry him off to the hospital, call JP. And like, and JP at first, like, yeah, that's what he get. You're like little kid that's been shooting your club, your club up. You know what I'm saying? He hit, and JP like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so what? Tommy like that's your son. Like, how you know? He's like, I've been knowing for a while. Like, how you been knowing for for a while? And you just found out like yesterday. Like, they need to add that stuff. So clearly, we had some type of time jump. We had a time jump, and in that time jump, Tommy knew about D Mac for a while, and he managed to get right with the Serbs, make some type of deal with the Serbs. And uh, of course, Claudia saw Tommy with the Serbs or whatever. Saw Tommy right after he he went to the Serbs uh, to lock in uh, 
the the war chest or whatever, locking in his soldiers. Claudia sees him and runs back to her pops like, yeah, you were always right. Yeah. So they locked in. The whole Vic, uh, I mean, the whole Flynn family is locked in for show because uh, he's finally letting Claudia, you know, get her her rub her shoulders with the real gangsters in the streets. He like it, you know, it took me a while to get to this point to work how I see the world different. So Vic, Vic and his sister are locked in with Walter. Walter's dream is coming true. They are devoted to Walter's plan, no matter what. But they should have gave us more. Um, it was a good episode. I'm gonna give my grade, of course, on the trap scale. I'm gonna give my grade uh on Monday at 8.30 with the crew. But the episode should be called Make It Make Sense. I can't get past. There's a lot of stuff that does not make any sense. But the episode was entertaining, so I can't complain that much. I would like for it to make a little more sense to make, for them to explain things as they are happening. Uh, and that was your highlights. Episode 9, solid episode uh a lot of holes in there a lot of holes in it solid episodes but i can't get playing power is finally back we got one more episode for force and force overall is looking like it might be in the c range and that's very disappointing i don't, I don't even think a, a plus finale would even get it up to a b in my opinion but we'll see maybe they'll blow me away in this next finale and i'll get it up to a b but I enjoyed the episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. You come across this video, lock in to Brillo the Big Review. And on Monday at 8.30, lock in to Power Review the Brillo Way. The DMC in the building. Pretty Girl Loves Trap content in the building. Moochella probably have Miss K or a few more of the friends come up and discuss the episode, have some fun. So go ahead Lock into the real, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, you know the vibes. Yeah, press.